Welcome to the review of Inform Gorkov. Been waiting quite a while for this guy to get an Inform. So, Johan Gorkov plays for Lyon in Liga 1. He's French. He's now a left midfield. 27, 6 foot 1. Right footed. High attacking work rate. Medium defensive work rate. 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Down from his usual 5 star. His traits are Fleur, Injury Prone and Playmaker. Average price 19k Xbox, 20k PS3, 50k PC. Let's have a look at his in-game stats now. He's got pretty average gains there across the board. His highlights are his 90 ball control, his 92 passing, 87 shot power and 85 free kicks. You can pause the video now for a close look at his stats and his overalls. On to the team I played him in. I used a 4-1-2-1-2 Liga 1 team with Gorkov at left midfield. I paid 46k for Yorkov, but this was only a couple of hours on release night on Wednesday. So he's not too bad, lost a bit, but what can you do? So, how I felt about him from Gorkov. Straight away, you can tell, you can feel he's a quality player. He's got great passing and ball control. He's able to hold onto the ball in tight spaces, dodging away from the defenders. He's able to create a lot of space, get to release a, a pass to his teammate or unleash a shot. Shot power feels really good. Great long shots. Had some decent long shots on target. Keeper was getting to a lot of them, but a lot were on target. He's able to dribble around the players. He's good at the edge of the box if he's trying to cut in, trying to get around some players for a shot on goal. Great. So, good free kicks. Only got a couple of free, managed to get a couple of free kicks. Managed to get one in. It's not too bad. Uh, his free kicks have got quite a bit of an increase, but due to the goal he scored to get this in form, I think his free kicks should be a lot higher. If you want to check the goal out, it was a stormer. Uh, on to my personal stats, my personal in game stats I've used with uh, Gorkov. We played 25 games with him at left midfield. He returned 7 goals and 10 assists, not too bad. I saw, I also had him on corners, so about roughly 5 of his assists came from a corner. You can pause the video here to look at the uh, stats I've used in-game on the little graphic I've created, where his goal positions are, what all of his stats, passing stats, everything like that. Now, on to positives and negatives about Gorkov. His positives are, he's good dribbling, he's always been able to create some space, yeah, he's got great shot power, has some great long shots from left midfield. He's got great passing, always finds his man, he's got a nice silky passing. Also, his free kicks, the free kicks I took were, felt really nice. Uh, and his price, he's currently only around 20k, will, tr will drop more. So if you want to try him out this weekend, or pick him up before ne next Wednesday's team of the week, I highly advise you to do so. Negatives, not much really, I love using Gorkov. I would have loved him to be even more to be at Cam, but what can you do? At least he's got an inform at left midfield. And other negatives, some might say pace, but to be honest, I found it fine. He's okay. I mean, you could, you might want a bit more pace in the left midfield, but I found it fine. He's a great little player. Highly recommend trying him. I've given him a 9.2 out of 10. He's one of my favourite informs this year. Could have even been a little higher if he was at camp. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you found this useful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you left left a like to show your appreciation. I'd love it if you'd leave a like. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more FIFA videos. Thanks. Cheers, lads. Have a good one.